In this video, we are going to see the pre-trip inspection of the exterior of the hydraulic buses. This is a very important part of your skill test. The pre-trip inspection is divided into several sections. Before each section, you are going to have some notes or comments. Those can help you to understand the corresponding section in order to remember it easily. Before to open the hood, we need to check and mention two things. First, there is no leaks or puddles behind the engine compartment. Second, the bus is not leaning side to side or front to back. Now, we open the hood. The parts that we are going to see first are Master Hydraulic Brake Cylinder Brake Fluid Reservoir Alternator Water Pump Radiator and Hose Engine Oil Dipstick What we need to know about these parts Your Master Hydraulic Cylinder is the heart of the brake system. The Master Cylinder uses the force you apply to the brake pedal and it transfers that force to the brake calipers and brake pads at each wheel that will stop the bus. The brake fluid reservoir stores your vehicle's brake fluid and it's connected to the master hydraulic cylinder. The alternator's mission is to recharge the batteries when driving. The water pump circulates the coolant through the walls of the engine to keep it cool. The radiator uses the wind to cool the coolant and resend it through the hose. The engine oil dipstick has to be at a proper level and has to be checked with the engine turned off. Now the verbiage. Master hydraulic brake cylinder, securely mounted, not leaking. Brake fluid reservoir, securely mounted, no cracks, no leaks, proper level. Alternator, securely mounted, wires aren't frayed, belt driven, belt has no frays and shows no more than 3 quarter inch play. Water pump, Securely mounted, no leaks, belt driven, belt has no frays and shows no more than 3 quarter inch play. Radiator and hose, securely mounted, no cracked or leaking. Engine oil, proper level on dipstick. The next section is the steering system. Its parts are power steering reservoir, power steering pump, steering column, steering gearbox, steering linkage. The power steering reservoir holds the power steering fluid that feeds all the steering parts to keep them working smoothly. The power steering pump can be seen easily, but if there were a leak of steering fluid below the engine, probably that one would be the source. The steering column transmits the movement from the steering wheel to the steering gearbox. The steering gearbox changes the circular movement of the steering column to a linear movement towards the steering linkage. It has steering fluid inside, so it's important to check for leaks and for the conditions of its hoses. The steering linkage is composed of three parts and moves at its end the tires of the bus. Now the beverage. Power steering reservoir. Securely mounted, no cracks, no leaks, proper level. Power steering pump. Securely mounted, no leaks, gear driven. Steering column, not twisted or bent. Steering gearbox. Securely mounted, not leaking, hoses not leaking. Steering linkage. Securely mounted, not twisted or bent. Bolts are present. Now, we go to the suspension. Its parts are spring hangers, springs, U-bolts, shock absorber. The spring hangers attach the suspension to the frame of the bus. The springs along with the shock absorber fade the effect of the terrain towards the vehicle. The U-bolts keep the springs together. The shock absorber helps the suspension to return smoothly to its original position. Now the various. Spring hangers, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Springs. Securely mounted, evenly stacked, not cracked or broken. U-bolts. Missing no bolts. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Shock absorber. Securely mounted and not leaking. For the brake system parts we have. Brake hose. 
brake caliper, brake pads, brake rotor. The brake system is critical for the safety of our vehicle. The brake hose carries the brake fluid from the master cylinder to the caliper. The caliper transforms the displacement of the brake fluid in mechanical movement to be applied to the brake pads. The brake pads are the pieces that make friction against the brake rotor to make the bus stop. Now the verbiage. Brake hose. Securely mounted, not leaking. Brake caliper. Securely mounted, not dented or leaking. Brake pads. Securely mounted, not excessively worn, no oil contaminants. Brake rudder. Securely mounted, not scorn, no oil contaminants. In the tire area, we can see inside and outside tire sidewall, front tire top, rim, lug nuts, hub seal, bulb stem, and mud flap. Now the beverage. Inside and outside tire sidewall, no cracks or bulges. Front tire top. Evenly worn and has at least 4 32nd inch thread depth. Rim. Not bent and no welds. Not overly rusted. Lug nuts. All present and show no signs of being loose. Hop seal. Securely mounted. Not leaking and all bolts are present. Valve stem. Present. Cap tight and we are going to let the mechanic check the tire pressure. Mount flap. Securely mounted. To inspect the other side of the engine, we need to say, I will check the other side the same as this side, with the following exceptions. Now, you can go to the other side and continue with the verbiage. Coolant reservoir. Securely mounted, not leaking. At the proper level and hoses aren't leaking. Transmission fluid at proper level on dipstick. Windshield washer fluid reservoir. Securely mounted, not leaking at proper level and hoses aren't leaking. Now, we can close the hood and continue with the front of the bus from top to bottom. Three clearance lights, clean and clear, proper color of amber, not broken or cracked. Student warning lights, clean and clear, proper color of amber, not broken or cracked. Student loading and loading lights. Clean and clear, proper color of red, not broken or cracked. School bus signage, present, not peeling. Windshield, no obstructions, clean and clear, not broken or cracked. Windshield wiper arms, present and not broken. Side mirror in the right side, securely mounted, not broken. Turn signal, reflector and hazard light. Clean and clear, proper color of amber, not broken or cracked. Crossover mirror, securely mounted, not broken. Reflector, turn signal and headlight. Clean and clear, proper color, not broken or cracked. Crossing gate, securely mounted, working properly. Now for the left side. Reflector, turn signal and headlight. Clean and clear, proper color, not broken or cracked. Crossover mirror, securely mounted, not broken. Turn signal, reflector and hazard light. Clean and clear, proper color of amber, not broken or cracked. Side mirror, securely mounted, not broken. Now we can move to the passenger door side and continue with the verbiage. Strobe light, secure, proper color of clear. Clearance lights, clean and clear, proper color. Two amber and one red, not broken or cracked. Two emergency window exits. Signage is impeeling and reflective tape is impeeling. All windows clear and not cracked or broken. Company logo, present and not peeling. Side marker, turn signal and hazard light. Clean and clear, proper color of amber, not broken or cracked. Lower reflective tape, present and not peeling. Reflector dots, two amber and one red, present and not peeling. At this point, we can lean to show the parts of under the box. Those are frame and cross members, exhaust, exhaust hangers, dry shaft, U-joints. The frame 
is a big beam along the bus where the structure is supported. The cross members are the small beams that go side to side above the frame. The U-joints drive the movement from the drive shaft to the back tires. After mentioning these parts, we are going to mention the brake section in the suspension section, same as in the engine area. Now the variage. Frame and cross members not bent or twisted. Exhaust, not leaking and securely mounted. Exhaust hangers, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Drive shaft, not bent or twisted. U-joints, not bent or twisted. Brake section, brake hose, securely mounted, not leaking. Brake caliper, securely mounted, not dented or leaking. Brake pads, securely mounted, not excessively worn, no oil contaminants. Brake rudder, securely mounted, not scorn, no oil contaminants. Now the suspension section. Spring hangers, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Springs, securely mounted, evenly stacked, not cracked or broken. U-bolts, missing no bolts, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Shock absorber, securely mounted and not leaking. At this point, we can get up and continue with the beverage for the back tires. No objects between dual tires. Inside and outside tire sidewall, no cracks or bulges. Rear tire stop. Evenly worn and has at least 2 32nd inch thread depth. Rim. Not bent and not welds. Not overly rusted. Lug nuts. All present and show no signs of being loose. Hub seal. Securely mounted not leaking and all bolts are present. Two valve stem, present, cap tight and we are going to let the mechanic check tire pressure. Mud flap, securely mounted. Fuel door, opens correctly, hinges are present. You must mention if the bus is diesel or propane fueled. Fuel line, secretly mounted, not leaking. Fuel tank, securely mounted, not leaking. In this moment, we walk to the back of the bus and continue with the verbiage from top to bottom. Three clearance lights, clean and clear, proper color of red, not broken or cracked. Student warning lights, clean and clear, proper color of amber, not broken or cracked. Student loading and loading lights, clean and clear, proper color of red, not broken or cracked. School bus, emergency door, stop, on flashing red signage, present, not peeling. Windows, all windows are free of obstructions and are not cracked or broken. Reflective tape, all reflective tape is present and not peeling. Torn signals and hazard lights, clean and clear, proper color of amber, not broken or cracked. Four tail lights, brake lights and running lights, clean and clear, Proper color of red, not broken or cracked. Reverse lights, clean and clear, proper color of clear, not broken or cracked. License plate lights, clean and clear, proper color, not broken or cracked. License plate, present and current. Red reflectors, present and not peeling. Door hinges, securely mounted, not missing any bolts. At this moment, open the emergency door and continue. Wind hinge, securely mounted and working properly. Door seal, not ripped or torn. Door exit, no sharp objects on floor of exit area. Now walk to the driver's side of the bus and continue the verbiage saying, I will check this side the same as the other side, with the following exceptions. Exhaust tail pipe, securely mounted. Side marker, turn signal and hazard light. Clean and clear, proper color of amber, not broken or cracked. Stop sign, securely mounted, operating properly and lights are clean and clear. Proper color and not cracked or broken. Fuse box, holds three extra fuses. Battery box, open the compartment. Batteries are securely mounted, wires are secure and there isn't any leakage. 
here ends the external pre-trip inspection.